Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all the JE Aspirin students and I hope this small video of ours will help you understand the very concept behind two block system. Like that's what we will discuss in this video of ours. So the first thing that will come to your mind is why we have to talk about two block system? What is so special about this concept? And the answer is very simple. Many students think two block system as a totally new concept, but what they actually don't get is the concept which are used in two block system, they have already learned it. They just have to analyze the situation and apply the concept which they have already learned. So we are just trying here to help you relate the concept which you have learned in this particular situation. So let's start and ask ourselves, what is two block system and what kind of variations are asked in it? So as the name suggests, in two block system, we will have two blocks and we'll uh, keep one of the block on a surface and another block will be kept on the top of it. We can have friction between the two blocks or between the lower block and the surface on which it is kept. Forces can be applied on upper block or on lower block or in some cases, forces are applied on both the blocks. So the situation may change a bit, but overall the approach or the concept to solve these questions will still be the same. Let's take a very simple example to discuss all this. And in this example, we'll take two blocks, M1 and M2, and we'll keep these blocks on a smooth surface for now. Let's keep it simple. Uh, there's an external force applied on M2. Uh, M1 is kept on top of it. And let's discuss what actually happens in this situation, like what changes occur due to this applied force of ours. So the first thing is, uh, show all the forces acting on both the blocks due to the uh, applied force of ours. So in this case, as force F is applied on M2, due to this force, M2 will have a tendency to move in forward direction. And because of it, there will be a tendency of slipping between M1 and M2. So to prevent the slipping, friction will act now and friction will act on M2 in backward direction to prevent slipping. And because of it, on M1, friction will be in forward direction, action and reaction law. So if we draw a BD of both M1 and M2, on M1 we only have frictional force, whereas on M2 we have our applied force F and friction. So acceleration of M1 will be only due to the frictional force, whereas M2's acceleration is the net effect of applied force and friction. So if we increase the value of force, suppose we see like what happens if we increase value of force F from zero till infinity. So if we increase the value of force, uh, because of that, acceleration of M2 will increase. And if acceleration of M2 will increase, frictional force will also increase its value and make acceleration of M1 equal to M2, just to prevent slipping. So if we increase the value of force F, value of frictional force will also increase. And if we go uh, beyond a certain value of force, uh, friction, uh, there will be slipping and the reason for slipping is suppose there is a value of force F at which friction has to put its maximum effort and by maximum effort I mean to say that friction has to take its limiting value to prevent slipping. So acceleration of M1 will be maximum in that case because on M1 we only have frictional force. So acceleration of M1 will increase its value up to a certain limit. But on M2, whereas we have our applied force and we can increase the value of applied force till infinity. So acceleration of M2 will increase if we keep on increasing the value of force F. But acceleration of M1 will increase up to a certain limit only because uh, on M1 we only have friction. So if our applied force value increases uh, up to like beyond that value at which friction is putting its maximum effort. So in that case, acceleration of M2 will have more value compared to acceleration of M1 and slipping will occur. So if uh, the value of friction or the force is less than that particular value at which friction is putting its maximum effort, then there's no slipping. So to summarize all this, let's break it down and let's uh, take the three simple steps to solve any two block system. And those three steps are, first assume that both the blocks are moving together and calculate that common acceleration of both the blocks due to the external forces on the system. And after finding this common acceleration, calculate how much frictional force is required to have this common acceleration. And the third step is, if this required fo frictional force value is less than the maximum value that frictional force can have, that is the limiting value of frictional force, 
then there won't be any slipping because friction is sufficient to provide that much of value. But if the required value of frictional force is more than the limiting value of frictional force, then in that case, for sure we will have slipping because friction cannot provide us that much of value. So that's the main concept in two block system is check whether the uh, required friction is less or more than the limiting value. And if it is less, then there's no slipping. And if it is more than the limiting value of frictional force, then there will be slipping. And if slipping is there, then in that case, the nature of frictional force will be kinetic in nature. And as we know that kinetic friction has fixed value, so we'll know the net forces on both the blocks and we can easily calculate the acceleration of both the blocks. To sum it up, to sum it up all I want to say in this video is, uh, when we solve two block system, the only thing which we have to look after is how much frictional force is required for both the blocks to move together and we'll compare that required value to limiting value and we'll know whether slipping is there between the blocks or not and we can easily answer the acceleration or the value of frictional force, its nature and all sorts of questions that they'll ask. I hope this video will clear your doubts in this particular concept. And uh, we'll be making these kinds of video in future as well. Thank you.